In those previous videos, we looked at um, the situation where we have two vector spaces, V and W, and two bases, B and C. But all of this material would keep working if we had one vector space and one basis. Really, the only difference is that we that since we no longer have two different bases, we only need to talk about the matrix of T relative to B. And also, in this case, this matrix is going to get its own bit of notation. Like the coordinate vector notation, except instead of a vector, we have the transformation here in brackets. Let's do a quick example. Let's that V be a P sub two. The polynomials of degree two or less. And that's that T of A sub two X squared plus A sub one X plus A sub zero B two A sub two X plus a sub one. This is a linear transformation. I know that it's linear because it's a differentiation and differentiation is linear. The derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. The derivative of a constant times a function is the constant times the derivative of the function. We'll that to this be the basis we look at. And let's find this matrix. So there are a few things we need to do here. We need to take each of these basis vectors and apply this transformation to it. We'll start with x squared. T of X squared is two X. And now we need to take this vector and write it in terms of these basis vectors so that we can get the coordinate vector. Well, this is easy enough to do in our heads. Two X is zero X squared plus two times x plus zero times one. So the coordinate vector of x squared is zero to zero. And this is the first column of the matrix we are looking for. Zero to zero. Now we'll just repeat this. We'll apply this transformation to x. We'll get one, which is zero x squared plus zero x 
plus one times one. So zero, zero, one. And now we'll apply this transformation to one and we'll get to zero, which in terms of these basis elements, is zero, zero, zero. And actually, at the risk of making this video a little long, let's um, now modify this example slightly. Here, I'm thinking of this as a transformation from P2 to P2. But notice that the derivative of a second degree polynomial is a first degree polynomial. I could just as easily think of this as a transformation from P2 to P1. And now let's say we'll still use the standard basis x squared x and one, but of course w has a different basis. And we'll find the matrix of this transformation with respect to these two bases. And a lot of this work is going to be the same as the work we just did. We're going to need T of B1, T of B2, T of B3. But now, you see we have the coordinate vectors with respect to C. Now we're done with this basis. We're going to look at these vectors in terms of C. This is 2x plus 0 times 1, 0x plus 1 times 1, 0x plus 0 times one. So the coordinate vectors are two, zero, zero, one, and zero, zero. 